If someone's looking to move to Northern Colorado and Fort Collins, they absolutely start to look at surrounding areas. And Timnath, Colorado, this tiny little community that has grown exponentially, one of the fastest growing towns and cities in all of America is where today's vlog tour is taking place. We are at Trailside in Timnath, Colorado. This is just east of I-25, just east of Fort Collins. Uh, this community again has grown from 500 to a population of uh, close to or exceeding 4,000 people. And it really is growing exponentially. And the reason could be lots of different things that maybe they didn't want to necessarily be in Fort Collins, wanted the commute because they're lit, they, they work in Greeley or Denver and I-25 is close to them. At one point, it was an affordability play. You could buy a million dollar home for maybe 800,000 or an $800,000 house for $500,000. But price per square foot, Timnath is one of the more expensive places to purchase. But we are on a vlog tour today in Timnath at the Trailside Development. What's up everybody? My name is Patrick Sukup with Sukup Real Estate Services here in Fort Collins, Colorado, and today in Timnath, Colorado. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if what you're looking at learning is everything there is in Northern Colorado. Eating, sleeping, playing, new developments. And at the end of the video, if you've enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up, comment, engage, maybe even share with a friend. As much as we like making these real estate videos, we are licensed real estate agents here in Fort Collins, Colorado. And if you are looking at buying, selling, or investing, give us a call, text, or email. We've got your back. But today, we are going through on a vlog tour through Trailside in Timnath, Colorado, where it is, what it's about, maybe talk to a builder or two, and explore some of the homes. So come along with me. Enjoy. So Trailside is a new development that started in 2020. The master developer was Hartford Homes, and then they actually contracted different lots, lands, to three total builders, Hartford, Toll Brothers, and Wonderland. And, you know, to discuss new developments in Northern Colorado, and Colorado in general, especially after 2010, you have to discuss metro districts. Metro districts are their own private taxing entity that is uh, established with the state, has its board of directors, uh, you can be on the board, but essentially uh, establishes a mill levy, which is what your property taxes are based off of. In Fort Collins, for example, you could expect there to be about 90 to 100 mills that goes towards Pooter School District, your fire department, public library, different things that the community provides to you through your property taxes. Well, these metro districts were really established to help spur the development of new developments. And what that means is building the infrastructure, roads, curbs, sidewalks, and what, what I'm sitting on currently, the playground. And a lot of these metro districts have pretty substantial amenities. And what that does to you if you're looking at a new development is increases your property taxes, typically by about one third which this development has a tax mill levy of 50 mills, which puts you at about 1.1% of your purchase price in property taxes. So if you are considering a new development in really all of Colorado, but definitely Northern Colorado, one of the things that you're going to have to discuss is the Metro District. Questions that you're gonna to wanna to ask, what is the current mill levy? What is the cap and is it capped? And depending on those three answers can really dictate whether you should or should not explore moving forward with that builder. From there, taking a look at the financials, if it's uh, funded, if they're gonna have to refinance. If it were me, I would absolutely take to the bank that these mill levies and property taxes and metro districts are going nowhere anytime soon. And if you're gonna buy a house, expect it to be with you for the eternity of that house. And if at the end of the 40 years that it actually happens to pay off, then great, you can remove that mill levy. But generally speaking, if I were to buy a house, I would not assume that's ever going away. But you do get some pretty cool things. Like I said, currently we're in this park that is paid for through those property taxes and the upkeep and maintenance of the development. It does take the place mostly of an HOA. Some of these places will still have an HOA, but the Metro District will be what kind of dictates the architectural review process. So if you wanna make any changes to the exterior of your home or anything like that, you're gonna to have to submit an architectural review. And that, a lot of the times, will be dictated through the Metro District so that everything is kind of 
uh, and symmetry throughout the development. So these three builders, Wonderland Homes, Toll Brothers, and uh, Hartford Homes are all going to abide by those laws so that it's a really clean, well-kept, pretty development. But that is the elephant in the room with new developments here in Northern Colorado is Metro districts. And this one's really not too bad. 50 mils capped out, not gonna exceed anymore, which puts you at about a 1.1% property tax value of your purchase price on an annual basis. There are a lot of different individuals that you know buy homes in this area, young couples, single individuals, older couples. So there's no real specific kind of you know group that it's going after per se. My best friend here bought a home here at Trailside about two years ago. They now have a little baby girl, beautiful little baby girl, that they're excited to start their family here in this development. That being said, there are a lot of young families that look to move here to Northern Colorado and end up exploring new developments, you know, Timnith, Raindance and Windsor, different areas, but the question would be schools. Uh, you are still in the Pooter School District in Timnith, so your elementary school is gonna be Tim Timnith Elementary, followed by Preston Middle School and Fossil Ridge High School. Now, Timnith Middle High did just get built and I've got to do a little bit more research on that because I believe that it was a, a boundary school that if you are within those boundaries, you are able to go to it. But you know, from what I just talked with on a couple different builders that hopefully we get to talk with here shortly, the fact that it's a school of choice. So I've got to do a little bit more research on that. But overall, being in the Pooter School District is probably one of a big, big thing for people to take into consideration when looking at Timnith comparatively to Fort Collins because you still are in that Pooter School District comparatively to looking to uh, Loveland or Windsor and moving districts where you know Pooter School District is sought out from, from many, many individuals. So I just chatted with Amal Gums. He is a sales representative for Wonderland Homes and he has agreed to jump on our video and answer some questions specifically about Wonderland and what they have going on in this development. So we're gonna go jump in with Amal. All right, so Trailside is a development that has three different builders that originally started the plan, but um, actually Toll Brothers was one of them. They do not have any more houses yet uh, for anyone to buy. There are two builders left, Wonderland and Hartford. And Hartford is actually the, the master developer of the entire area. And I snuck in today to Wonderland, which is actually pretty awesome because one of my best friends bought a house here from Wonderland about two years ago, maybe a year and a half um, ago. And actually the sales agent was Amal Gums and he is you know gracious enough to let me come in, pick his brain, and just kind of see what Wonderland has going on and what type of homes they've got doing. And he's just a good dude. So first and foremost too, if you guys are considering buying a new development, Wonderland's great and Amal is an amazing person to work with. So appreciate you taking the time. To Absolutely, ask. thank you, Patrick. So, okay, when Matt bought a couple of years ago, it seemed like you guys were kind of like in the, not beginning, but like relatively beginning stages. Where are you guys at as far as the development timeline? How many, how much longer is Trailside gonna be built out? That's a great question, Patrick. So when Matt bought, Matt and Natalie, they were awesome. They were, I would say, at the tail end of phase one. That was right around 2020, I think, 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, we are heading into our third phase right now. So we're gonna be building here probably for another little over a year. We're expected to be completed in the community at the end of 2023. Okay. And what type of homes does Wonderland, what type of homes does Wonderland build and does like a good client come in and expect to potentially buy? Sure, so we offer two product lines here. We offer a single family home with an alley load garage, so your garage is to the back. A lot of people really like that setup because it allows for more architecture to the front. Uh, so Wonderland are, one of our core things is character, giving the homes something different, something unique. So we offer our single family homes and then we do offer a paired plan. So that's just a fancy word for a duplex, <laughs> but they come out really well, very open. Uh, they live very much like a single family home, just a little bit uh, more affordable price point. So we got the, the two products here. Okay, speaking about price points. So if somebody wanted to move into Timnath, Colorado and like 
base price versus, hey, we want to bouge it up and get as you know sexy as we possibly can. What kind of base level and top price can we look at? That's a great question. So for our single family homes, our base prices start in the mid fives. That will be for our ranch plan. That's our smallest plan that we offer. So base prices are going to go from mid fives to uh, just over 600. And at the top end, we can see homes as high as, you know, close to 800,000 okay. on the single family side. For our parent side, very similar. A lot of our homes start in the low fives and we see those finishing out probably in the low sixes. Okay. Now with new construction comparatively to like an existing build, existing builds you come in, go into contract, close 30 days later. Now there is potentially some inventory with that somebody could come in, take a look at and actually buy relatively quickly, but there also is opportunities to not necessarily customize because are you guys more spec type builders or some type of customization? So depending on the phase that you would purchase the home where uh, the construction phase is, you could get an opportunity to come in and customize that home. We have a professional design center that we will schedule you with where you are paired up with one of our professional designers. Uh, our design center is completely for us, customized just for us as a builder. So you will see every single thing that we offer for you in your home. Depending on when you come in, you would get an opportunity to do that. Uh, once we hit a certain um, point in the home and construction, uh, we would be unable to make any changes, um, but you could get that opportunity. We do have a lot of inventory homes as well. So those are homes that are already designed. Again, we use our professional design team to create these beautiful homes. One model that our design team uses and we love is they never design the same home twice. So a lot of times when people think of a spec, they think, oh, cookie cutter picked off a board. Not at all. So they are very unique, but still very open and uh, inviting to a lot of folks. So we still have some options to do some picks where you can make your selections. But for the most part, we do have inventory homes. Which is interesting because, you know, as the market kind of shifts, moves, goes around, new development, new construction is the same way. Uh, probably as early as six months ago, you know, it was tough to get on the list for new construction. Whereas today, uh, I just put a client under contract two days ago on a new construction in uh, Rain Dance in Windsor, but I could have a client call me, reach out. I'd reach out to them all and say, hey, what type of inventory do you have on your books? I've got a client in that 500 to 600,000 price point that really wants to close in the next 60 to 90 days. He takes a look at what's opportun what opportunities there might be we reach out, go under contract, minimal earnest money on a new construction, you know, comparatively, like you could tie up a house for a few thousand dollars. Uh, what's the earnest money on a on Wonderland home? So, um, I mean, if you got big pockets, it's minimal. For our single family, it's a $10,000 earnest money. Okay. For our parent homes, it's 6,000. But still, $6,000 to hold a house that you could potentially, actually, I just have, I have a new, new or a VA buyer that is gonna close they're having to do fifteen thousand dollars earnest money, but when they close, because they're able to put zero down, they're actually going to get check written back to them at closing, depending on uh, closing costs and things of that nature, credits that we're able to offer. But still, you could tie up a home for ten thousand dollars, a little bit more than what I've, I used to, but obviously home prices have increased a little bit, so uh, you know down money has increased as well. But overall. You know, for me, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm all honestly like working with an agent here, a sales agent for Wonderland Homes and in the mall. It's been great. Had a great time, but appreciate you taking the time and, you know, kind of letting me pick your brain. My pleasure. Anytime. Thanks for your time, Patrick. Cool. All right. On to the next. So new developments are really pretty fun to go through because at all times, there's usually a sales agent on site that you can go in and tour some model homes. And again, uh, something that I definitely talk to all of my clients about when they go and tour a uh, new construction is how absolutely emotional it is because everything looks amazing. It, it definitely, you know, uh, supplies itself very well to today's buyer. And these buildings, these these homes here at Trailside are no different. Um, this is going to be a ranch style home from Wonderland Homes behind me, and I will take you guys through it.
So we've kind of been exploring this new development just east of Fort Collins in Timnath Trailside. And again, we talked about Metro District and what could that do for you as far as your property taxes, but also what does that do for you as far as amenities? And there's parks, pickleball courts, we've got a pool right behind us, and there's trails through Trailside. Now, Timnath does connect to Fort Collins through the bike system, but what would you do if you moved to Timnath, Colorado? What could you expect to do? And it is an extremely small town with not a ton to do, but actually just recently I've done some woodworking and really have enjoyed going to Maker's Bench of Timnath, Colorado. The commercial development, commercial follows residential rooftops. So there are a few things to do. There's little gymboree, uh, for like kids, some restaurants. Timnath is not there yet, but they've got some down the, the pipeline as far as what's coming. There is substantial more residential development that's happening. And with that will come more commercial opportunities. But right now, if you move to Timnath, you're probably gonna have a lot of different young families, individuals, young professionals. You know, there's you know older couples that have moved here to Harmony Club that's just across the street but you're probably gonna find yourself either hanging out with friends or buddies at their house or coming to Fort Collins or Windsor for your restaurant and dining opportunities because it's still an extremely small community with not a ton of commercial opportunities. Schools, not too far away, especially if Timnath Middle High School, which we've gotta clarify on if that's a school of choice or if that is a boundary school that you just automatically move into if you're within the school boundaries. They're not too far away. And so overall, you will be commuting if you live in Timnath, uh, but Fort Collins is not too far away. To get to Trailside from my house without tr not tons of traffic, and depending on the time of day, is about 10 minutes. So really, again, Timnath is a small community just outside of Fort Collins with not a ton to do, but uh, a great new little development here in Timnath, Colorado. So there you have it, folks. Trailside in Timnath, Colorado. A new development with three builders looking to stop and be done, completed by the end of 2023. There's single family homes, paired home options with you know, three different builders here in town. If you are definitely considering new construction, Amal was phenomenal to work with, uh, with me and one of my best friends, Matt, on that new construction just a couple years ago. Uh, it's an area that's definitely growing with more opportunities to come and for you, as far as somebody looking at buying here in Northern Colorado, I would definitely consider Trailside if you're looking at new development. Again, if you guys ever have any questions about real estate or comments below, happy to answer them. I'm always answering them. And if you're looking at buying, selling, or investing here in Northern Colorado, give me a call, text, or email. I've got your back. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, guys.